Hello everyone and welcome to This Day. Today is Thursday, August 24th and I'm Bobby Higgins. Coming up on This Day, we have Third's update with Kush Bada. He'll be telling us, uh, giving us a recap on the August 15th meeting, plus election details and a whole lot more. Very informative show coming your way today. And speaking of being informed, that brings us to today's Stay Informed. Don't miss the opt-out opportunity. If you're looking for ways to reduce clutter, save paper and cut costs, here's a great opportunity to save on mutual mailings. You can email your delivery preference to information at vmsinc.org and do this by Friday, September 9th. Choosing the paperless option can, can save approximately $7.50 per mainer. If 12,000 mainers went paperless, this would save over $90,000 in just one year alone. So let's take a look now at the weather. It is uh, still a little foggy here in Laguna Woods. Um, we'll have the morning fog, but then it'll gradually become more sunny with a high of 78 today and a low of 64. Tomorrow, it'll be mostly sunny with a high of 81 and a low of 62. And by the weekend, the temp temperatures will be climbing and it'll be sunny skies ahead. And now taking a look at sunrise and sunset. This is a photo from Lori Maloa. She was uh, on vacation in Italy and sent us this picture. Thank you so much, we love it. And your sunrise today was at 6.18 a.m. and the sunset tonight will be at 7.27 p.m. And if you would like to have your photo highlighted here on this day, please send us your pictures. Email them to us at lagunawoodsvillagetv at gmail.com. And I just wanted to take a moment to say here at Village TV, our hearts go out to all the people and all the families who were affected by the mass shootings last night at Cook's Corner. We pray that all those taken to the hospital, that they will be able to have a full recovery. Definitely a, a very tragic, tragic thing. So stay with us because we will have third mutuals update right after the break. And here's a look at today's meetings. Hi there, it's Bob Eubanks. You probably know me from the Newlywed Game, but what you may not know is I'm the only living person to have produced a Beatles show all three years they toured America. I've put together a great show called Backstage with the Beatles. I tell seldom or never before heard stories that lead up to music with a Beatle band on stage with me, Ticket to Ride. We're gonna be here, Laguna Woods, in the pack, September 23rd at 7 p.m. A will is not enough to avoid probate. However, if you have a will, a trust, a complete estate plan, then you will avoid probate. We encourage you to come meet with us. It's complimentary. We'll review the estate plan, make sure that it's current, covers all of your assets, and you're actually protected. I'd like to personally thank L.S. Carlson Law for all my family's estate planning needs. I highly recommend them to everyone. Hi, I'm Linda Honey. I'd be happy to help you and your family. Please call us today. Hi there, we're Orange County Labs. Please call us today for your VIP concierge phlebotomist in-home lab collection appointment. We simply come to you in the safety and convenience of your very own home for any lab test. As a covered benefit at no cost to you, we will draw your blood for your physician with results the very next day. One call to Orange County Labs does it all. We look forward to seeing you all soon.
Welcome back to this day. Joining me now is Kush Bada, director of Third Mutual. Thank you for taking the time to be here today. How's your uh, summer going so far since I saw you last time? Been doing it's anything hot. fun? It's hot, yes. But it was a good relief to have that. I know, that little tropical storm. Yeah. I definitely felt like I was back in Mexico. <laughs> and funny enough, my boys weren't home. They were actually at a, at a birthday party sleepover. But for years and years, my kids, whenever it rains, they're like, let's put on the football gear. We want to go and play in the rain. And, oh, wow. and so on that particular day, I'm like, they're not. Here it was, we're having a warm rain. And uh, I'm like, they weren't home to play football but in it. That reminds me of being in India. Yeah? Yeah, because the rain is from June through September. Oh. And we get an average of 100 to 115 inches a year. Wow. Yeah, so we are used to it. Okay. And flooding is normal, but it floods that moment and then it's gone in about half an hour, 45 minutes, yeah. Oh my goodness, yes. wow. Yes. Yeah, so interesting, I know. And then here we're like, ah, we got two inches and there's flooding. <laughs> Californians can't drive in the rain, right? <laughs> well, moving to business, just uh -huh. to reiterate, for those that don't know, Third Mutual, you take care of the housing, correct? Correct. Yes. And those are, those are the areas that, that you guys oversee. So um, one of the first things we wanted to talk about today is the August 15th meeting and recap what happened sure. at the meeting. Uh, first off, you guys uh, talked about considering rescinding the barbecue policy. That is correct. So what was, what was the barbecue policy currently? Oh, barbecue policy was a multiple page policy. You'd need a PhD to remember okay. everything. But the main thing is that we are requesting people to use common sense and to follow all the OCFA guidelines. What you see on the screen right now is the important part. And uh, um, it, you may be able to get more information if you just call the OCFA or got on, get to their website. The bottom line is use common sense. Don't wear very loose clothing when you're barbecuing. Uh, don't let the children, your grandchildren, whoever's visiting to get close to the barbecue. So, and it's lovely to barbecue. And nothing wrong with that. And bottom line, Use common sense. <laughs> so the main problem before was just that the policy was so long that probably nobody even read it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. So it's simple. Yes. It's not really brain surgery. Well, so, I like I like how it says um, you know make sure to keep your children and pets at least three feet away from the grill. Uh, my husband had a cat years ago that would actually go onto the grill and and steal a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and it survived? And it survived. Wow. I know. We don't know how it didn't burn its paws or whatever. But. Nice. <laughs> yes. And keep a fire extinguisher close just in case. Just in Yes. Just it's in always case. good to be prepared. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And yes. then um, the other thing is you guys are working on the 2024 budget. Correct. This is the crunch time, and uh, we want to get it done. We also had another meeting about the budget yesterday, and we are working very hard to keep it as low as possible. But with the inflation and all the craziness that's going on around that, we are expecting an increase of about 5%. Although any increase is not very well accepted, right? but we don't have a choice but to expect a little increase. What are the types of things that, that, that you look at that go into the budget that you have to plan for? Uh, employee costs, um, union, uh, employee union, and then the other construction material, contracts. It's a whole big thing. Okay. We have a very huge uh, endeavor here it's almost like running a big resort or a city. Our budgets are big, uh, so you have to consider many things. Okay, there's yeah. a lot of things that go of, into it. Yeah. And is there usually an, an increase each year? We try not to. Last year, I think, or year before last, we did not have any increase. Okay. Yeah. 
So it's been a couple of years since there's been an Good. increase. Yes. And is 5% a, a normal sized increase? Uh, the cost of living increase was around 3.8 or 4%, and 5 it's almost there. So in two years, if you have a 5% increase, it's not a huge, but we work very hard to see wherever it's possible to trim the fat. Okay. Yeah, in simple words. And so do you know the numbers, like for somebody's monthly bill, like what a 5% increase would add on to their bill? Or is that? <laughs> um, I can't tell you this right now because it's not, we are not ready to talk about it. Okay. So. But uh, that's but that's looking the that's, way it may go. Yeah, it could be four and a three quarters, it could be five and a quarter. Not sure, but five is a ballpark. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And the next, residents need to take a look at their homeowner's policy. Whoa, um, that's my favorite topic. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys are recommending the HO6 policy. Correct. Because this is a homeowner's insurance, not to be mixed with home warranty plan. As you know, home warranty plan covers just appliances and something around the house. Uh, like if your, uh, your socket doesn't work or your light switch doesn't work, that may be covered, but you don't need to use your home warranty plan because resident, if you call resident services, they could send somebody to get that done too. Okay. So best is to use it for your appliances if you are in the condo section, which we are the condo section. And uh, the homeowner's policy would mainly be useful when you have a sudden leak. And I can tell you, uh, it always happens in the middle of the night. Oh, does it really? <laughs> well, that's but, like no, the no, other night just, I had my fire alarm go off. Like, why correct. is it always the middle of the night? So correct. Can it be at 2 in the afternoon? Correct. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying keep a homeowner's policy. The HO6 is the correct one to have. And uh, that covers many, many things, especially leaks or moisture intrusion or... Uh, liability, some guests come in, trip and fall, it covers that, uh, the medical bill for your friend or whoever, and all that. So, so, it's, it the is big, like, so it's the big things that it, could happen. Yeah, yeah, it's peace of mind, sleep well, and be safe. That's the big thing here. Wonderful. That's why we always say use a home homeowner's policy. So, so definitely check that on your homeowner's policy, you have the HO6 insurance. Yeah, but the, yeah. the agent will be able to guide you through. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. great. And if all else fails, and if you're still concerned, we do have a risk management uh, person, uh, Dan Yost, over here. Uh, call him. He will be happy to guide you and put you in the right direction. Okay, good. Yeah. That's good to know. It's yeah. always good to have somebody to talk to and, yes. you know, to get, give you advice. Sure. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So also there's an opt-out opportunity. I mentioned this briefly at the, at the start of the show. Yes. Um, where, you know, residents can, can help uh, save costs. So tell us about this. Uh, what we're talking about is the mailing that we do twice a year. And uh, that mailing, individual mailing cost, is about $7.50. So far, we have about 3,000 and so many, uh, how many is it? Uh, it's a good number who have already opted out. Okay. Our goal is to get to 61 or 2, which is the number of condos we have, so many members in, in the third mutual. So... If everybody opts out, we could save a bunch of money because, and I also feel that getting it by email, you can store it in your uh, cloud somewhere. And uh, sorry if I'm using words that are not easy to understand for some older people, but PC Club will be able to definitely assist in understanding that part. Yeah, you can definitely make a file in your email and, and then put these in that, that but folder. It also depends on people who don't use computers or don't have internet. 
So they do need a paper copy. Right. But apart from that, I encourage everybody else to have a email address uh, posted. I think we have until September 1st, which is the deadline, to send an email to information at vmsinc.org and request an opt-out from the mailing. Okay. And if they don't respond to this send in the email by the September 1st, then what happens? Then they get a mailing, I mean, by a, a paper copy. So the, whatever the current address they have on file is where the mailing will go. So, okay. and we are talking of budgets right now. So the more we save, the lower the expense. It ends up helping everybody. Correct. As, as, as yes. well as the trees as well and, and saving money. <laughs> yes, that is a good point. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and so uh, third annual election is coming up. The application is done now, and you guys have your candidates. We have six candidates running for four seats. That means we definitely have an election. Uh, in the past, we've had a same number of seats and the uh, and people candidates people candidates so then they were elected automatically by acclamation but it's not happening this year so please be aware that when you receive your ballot select your candidate and uh, mail it out in time any and be be careful instructions are there spend 10 minutes to read the instructions and do the necessary because if you do it in a hurry, your ballot may be void and your vote may not be counted. So it's like going to the races and selecting the correct horses. <laughs> <laughs> I like that analogy. Yes. So you want your horse to win, so be sure to make uh, fill in the correct way With that the correct, you are, Yeah, it'll yeah. say like the correct color ink to use whatever. and the, fill the yeah. box fill correctly. Fill that and, tiny, I mean, yes. circle that tiny thing or No whatever. check marks. Correct. <laughs> All those things. So follow the directions. Don't let your vote be wasted. Is, is it a, an actual person who will do the ballots to, or is it like a machine that it goes through? I think it's a machine. Okay. And they can come and see it, if I'm not mistaken. It happens in the boardroom downstairs. Okay. And the date is, I think, mentioned over here somewhere. It's the, the ballots will be counted on that date. On Friday, September 29th? Correct. Okay. So, yeah. Or yeah. maybe it is uh, on television so they can see it also. I, I'm not sure, so don't count on what, everything I say. <laughs> <laughs> and so there will be a Meet the Candidates forum coming up? I think we already had one. Oh, it already had. It already aired. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And no, the airing dates oh. are up there. Okay. The, Here we go. Yes. So that will air on, on Sept Thursday, September 28th at 1.30 p.m. And no, then no, no, no. Tune in to TV6 to view the recorded candidate forum or statements, which is on September 2nd, 9, 16, 23rd, and 28th. Check your TV guide for replay time details. Okay, that's what I just read that. So now each of those dates, is that each one of those is an individual candidate or each of those dates that you'll see all the candidates' uh, recordings? That detail is with your department. Okay. Not with me. <laughs> okay, so at yeah. this point, all the candidates have shot their thing and, and then, so we're just waiting for it to air Correct. so everyone can see it. I'm not sure when the candidate... Uh, we, we had that, what do you call it? Where we had meet the, the, meet the, the candidates, candidates forum? Yes. No, meet the candidate forum will be rebroadcasted on September 28th, but that may be too late because that's the day of the, of the counting. So meet the candidate may be airing in between some other date, okay. which may be with your department. Okay. And I'm not sure what date that is. Okay, and then residents, have they already received their ballots? Ballots are getting mailed on August 30th. Okay. And it may be uh, arriving soon after that. So if they don't receive it in a week or so, to call a special number, which is probably not here, <laughs> 
Do we have it? I don't think we have it on I this don't list. believe I saw a yeah. number to call for that one. Uh, but if they call me or the secretary, they will be able to get that. Okay. And I'm sure there's every effort to make sure that everybody gets the ballot and everybody gets their uh, questions answered. Okay, yeah. so definitely by the beginning of September, they should have received their ballots. Yes. Okay. Yeah, within a week or 10 days, everybody should have their ballot. And then, you, and then they have to mail out their filled out ballot by when? What's as the cutoff? As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Uh, there are two ways to do it. You can either put it in the U.S. mail or there will be a box outside uh, our VMS, outside, uh, you know, just as you exit the... The rotunda. Okay. There, there will be a box uh, uh, out there chained to something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hand deliver it or into the box or you can mail it out. Correct. Either yeah, way. Yes. Okay. And then if elected, when do the candidates find out that they same got elected? Day. The same day. Same day. And now is there, is there a special way that they get notified? Or is uh, it just a phone call or it gets sent an email or... I guess in every possible way that is. I mean, mostly everybody is anxious to know, so yes. they would be present that day. Okay. As soon as the so it'll be counting is finished, there will be a announcement by a meeting. There will be a meeting of the of the board, of the board members who are still on the board, yes. and it will be announced. So right after the tabulation, then they will have. An announcement there. Correct. That, that, how, Correct. how exciting is that? Yes. And, and then, then, and then on a there's another date when we will seat them. Uh, Thursday, October fifth, candidates with most votes uh, will be seated at the board at an annual corporate member meeting. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So, first day. Of, first day of work yes, coming up first, in October. <laughs> <laughs> We better be ready. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, good luck to all the candidates. Best. Thank you, Kush, for being you. here today. No. It's always a pleasure to see you. Indeed, you too. Stay with us because we have announcements and a recap of weather coming up right after the break. At Healing Hearts Emergency Animal Hospital, we are dedicated to emergency veterinary care through high quality veterinary services and compassion. We offer state-of-the-art diagnostics at competitive pricing. Our doctors will see and care for dogs, cats, and most exotics. In case of emergency, rest assured Healing Hearts Emergency is here for you when your primary veterinarian is closed. Open nights, weekends, and all major holidays. Hey, beach walkers, grandkid chasers, stair climbers, dance lovers, weekend warriors, and yogis. Your life demands activity, and joint pain shouldn't hold you back. Get personalized joint care that's as unique as you, with high satisfaction rates to prove it. At Memorial Care, your joint replacement patient navigator will be by your side, helping you safely return to more. Like another beach, extra hug, and one more song. More from life is calling with Memorial Care. Hi, I'm Ann Mundell Noel, audiologist and owner at Amazing Hearing. We are so excited. We have been voted number one place to buy a hearing aid in Orange County, and it's all thanks to you, our patients, colleagues, friends, family. Thank you so much for placing your trust in us for your hearing needs. Give us a call at 949-667-9818. Thank you. Living and learning in Laguna Woods Village is a unique experience. For over 45 years, the Emeritus Institute has provided tuition-free college classes within your community. Join us to experience expert faculty, quality academics, and to make friends through the Emeritus Institute. New classes start every semester, and you can join nearly any time. Visit us anytime at saddleback.edu slash emeritus. Learn, live, and thrive with the Emeritus Institute. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The thoughtfully redesigned 2023 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. With standard symmetrical all-wheel drive, plus up to 32 miles per gallon. 
a 260 horsepower turbocharged engine, advanced technology, and an extra large touchscreen. The 2023 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Irvine Subaru. Buy online, just come in to sign. Get two years complimentary maintenance included on all new Subarus. <laughs> Welcome back to this day. We have a couple of announcements for you. Coming up tomorrow, Friday, at the Hilton in Irvine at 8 a.m. is uh, Sex and Gender in Dementia Research and Care. So this is the 34th annual Southern California Alzheimer's Disease Research Conference. So you can learn more at conference.mind.uci.edu. And coming up also Monday, August 28th, I actually remember this date because it's my husband's birthday, <laughs> uh, Italian Buffet. This is a, a, a great night. There are still tickets available, wonderful Italian food. You can go to Clubhouse 5 to purchase your tickets. You have until Sunday to purchase those tickets, $27 per person. You can invite friends and family, or if you like, you can also ask to be seated at the community table and meet some new friends, or if you prefer to be by yourself, you can have your own table exclusively to yourself as well. And taking a look at one more announcement for you, join Pub Club member Barbara Wolf for a book talk featuring Mother in Name Only. I actually did read this book and I was captivated. I could not set it down. It was a, a, a very, very interesting story and a very, uh, uh, how a mom and mother overcomes uh, a lot of challenges in her life. So I recommend you read that book. And taking a look at the upcoming movies for this weekend, Saturday's movie is Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, starring Rachel McAdams, when, and it's being brought to you by Radnet. When her family moves from the city to the suburbs, 11-year-old Margaret navigates new friends, feelings, and the beginning of adolescence. And quickly taking a look at today's weather, it is very foggy this morning, but it's starting to burn off now, and it'll be sunny with a high of 78. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny with a high of 81, and by the weekend, the temperatures will keep climb, climbing, and the skies will be sunny ahead. I want to take a moment to say happy birthday to my oldest. Today is his 23rd birthday, and some of you even probably know him if you've worked with him here at Village TV. That's PJ Higgins. So happy birthday, PJ. I love you. Stay with us. Or, or that's it for today. You can catch us again at 12.30 and 5 p.m. or check us out on YouTube. Have a great day, everybody. I'm Stephanie Landon talking to you today about prostate health. The prostate is a gland found only in men. It's part of the male reproductive system and it's shaped sort of like a walnut. Prostate cancer is extremely common as men age. In its early stages there are generally no signs of prostate cancer. The most effective way to find it early is through regular PSA screenings with your physician. Hi, I'm John Bowser Bauman. You probably know me best as Bowser from Shanana, but I'm also president of Social Security Works PAC. And you know, when I'm in Laguna Woods, I always watch Village Television. Grease for peace.